chapter 3, two churches. The Bishop of Rome, although the city of Rome was much smaller after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, it was still a city. People living in the city needed food and other supplies. It was very difficult for people who live in cities to grow the food they need. Food has to come from the farming areas outside of the city. After the fall of the empire, however, there was no one to take charge and arrange to bring these kinds of supplies into Rome. Who would perform these duties now? Remember when Attila the Hun almost attacked Rome? The person that talked him out of it, sorry, out of doing that was Pope Leo I, Rome's bishop. The term Pope is another title given to the Bishop of Rome. There was still an emperor at that time, but the power of the emperor was fading fast. And the power of Rome's bishop, on the other hand, was growing. And a bishop is a high-ranking member of the church in some Christian religions. So popes in the Middle Ages, such as Pope Gregor I shown here, often had a lot of power. So even though there was an emperor, the pope was the one starting to take up more of the power of that region. The victors convert. Many Germanic groups conquering the Roman lands, sorry, conquered the Roman lands, and yet in a sense, the victors had also been conquered. They're, they weren't conquered by the Roman army, but by the Roman church. Rome was a Christian empire when it fell in 476, and many of the people who took Rome's lands eventually converted to Christianity. They also adopted Rome's customs or traditions. Many also began to speak the language of Rome. Over time, the Roman language in its different parts of the old empire began to develop into different but related languages. This is why modern French, Italian, and Spanish are called the Romance languages. These languages developed in the Latin language of Rome over many centuries. So a victor is a person who defeats or an opponent or an enemy, so it's the winner of that fight. Christian is based on beliefs, based on the teachings of Jesus of, Jesus of Nazareth. Convert is to change religions to religious beliefs to switch from one religion to another. So maybe you believe one thing and then you go to another thing that you believe still. And a custom is this a tradition or way of doing things that belong to a particular society, place, or time. Even though newcomers had conquered Rome, they admired what it stood for. It had been the center of the most powerful empire for hundreds of years. Rome, Rome's conquerors respected and held on that many held on to many Roman laws and customs. They also kept the Latin language and the Roman language. So this picture right here is Roman letters on a tomb. So you can look and see several of the letters that we even use today. All right, this is Romulus Augustus, the last emperor of Rome, surrendered to the German king Odysseur in 476. When there was no longer a Western emperor, the Bishop of Rome became the most important official in the city. Pope Leo said that the Bishop of Rome was the most important official in the Christian church. He claimed that the power of the Bishop of Rome had reached far beyond the city of Rome itself. What were the reasons behind Leo's claim to power? He claimed that the power of the Bishop of Rome had came from Jesus himself through St. Peter. Leo said that Jesus chose Peter to be the head of the church. According to the Christian belief, Jesus left Jerusalem after Jesus was killed and went to Rome. Leo and his supporters believed that Peter became the first bishop of Rome. The bishops of Rome that followed him were his heirs to Peter's position as the head of the Christian church. And an heir is a person who will legally receive the property of, of someone who dies, or the person who will become king or queen after the current king or queen steps down or dies. Using this argument, Leo and those who followed him claimed that they were the papa, which is where we get the word pope, or father of the Christian church. With the former Western Roman Empire broken into many smaller kingdoms and territories, the Bishop of Rome, as a leader of the church in all regions, claimed power throughout Rome. So this is Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, and it was built in the 1100s. It's a fine example of Gothic architecture, which, may be, which became popular in the Western Church of the Middle Ages. It, also, it is also a symbol of power of the church in the Middle Ages. So we talked about the Western Roman Empire, now we're going to talk about the Eastern Roman Empire. So not everyone agreed that the claims of the bishops of Rome. In fact, there were four other bishops who also viewed themselves as leaders of the Christian church. They were the, these were the bishops of Constantinople, Alexandra, Antioch, and Jerusalem. These cities were all located in the Eastern, or, yeah, the Eastern Roman Empire. 
Remember how the Roman Emperor Empire was divided into two parts? One part was the Western Roman Empire centered in Rome, and the other part was the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the, also known as the Byzantine Empire. In the 300s, Emperor Constantine, the first Christian emperor of the Roman Empire, built a new eastern capital on, at the site of the ancient Greek city of Byzantium. He named this new capital Constantinople. While the Western Empire was weakened by internal problems and eventually destroyed by invaders, the Eastern Roman Empire survived. However, the Eastern Empire's culture was much less Roman than the Western Empire's. The Eastern part of the empire was more Greek than Roman. Most of its people did not speak Latin or languages that were influenced by Latin. Do you think these bishops of Alexandria, Antioch, and Jerusalem were more influenced by the Bishop of Constantinople or by the Bishop of Rome? If you said Constantinople, you were right. Over time, the number of differences between Christians in the Eastern and Western regions increased. There had always been some differences, of course. Even though both groups were Christians, they spoke different languages and had different cultures. However, more and more disagreements sprang up. Some of these disagreements may seem trivial today, but in the Middle Ages, they were not. For example, Christians in the former Western Empire used flat bread without yeast in their holy ceremonies, and Christians in the Eastern Roman Empire used bread with yeast in their holy ceremonies. And a holy ceremony is a religious act or ritual performed according to tradition. So more important was the larger issue as who was in charge of the church. Bishops in the Eastern Empire did not like accepting the rule of the Bishop of Rome as the final word in all church matters. They were used to ruling in a more cooperative manner in which each bishop had a vote. Over the centuries, the bishops in the Eastern Church developed a very different tradition of governing the church and its religious customs. They did, however, accept the belief that the Bishop of Rome was the heir of St. Peter. In 1054, the differences between the bishops of Rome and Constantinople came to a head. Some, after some major disagreements, the two, church, two churches separated. So this is Hagia Sophia, the Church of the Holy Wisdom was built in the 500s in Constantinople as the main cathedral for the Eastern Empire. So this looks much different than the Cathedral of Notre Dame in the Western Empire. Two separate churches. Christian bishops in the Eastern Empire, including Bulgarians, Serbs, Russians, Syrians, and Egyptians, chose to join the Bishop of Constantinople. People on both sides of this argument expected that the division between the two parts of the church was just temporary. Over time, however, the two sides did not get back together. In fact, they found more reasons to disagree. Today, the church that is headed, headed by the Bishop of Rome, or the Pope, is known as the Roman Catholic Church. The church in the region that was ruled by Constantinople, which is now Istanbul, Turkey, is generally known as the Eastern Orthodox Church. In the rest of this unit, we will mostly focus on the lands of the Western Church. So again, you can see that Western Roman Empire is now the... Um, Roman Catholic, and the Eastern is the Eastern Orthodox.